Hello again, welcome back to Richmond. Uh, as you can see, we're not on the layout this evening. I'll just push this forward a little bit. Um, we are uh, attempting to change the glazing on the station roof. So as you can see, we've made a start in taking it to bits. You can see the uh, the length of timber that um, holds it all together. And over here, you can see the various bits and pieces that uh, form the um, scenic bits of the, the roof. The uh, glazing bar coverings and stuff and you can see this glazing here is uh, pretty damn ropey to be honest it's uh, I think it's 43 years old so uh, it's lasted quite well but we've got this stuff here we've got some clear plastic card and some micro strip to uh, replace these glazing bars with and the glazing itself and we've got this uh, little duster brush here just to clean all the muck some of the look off the roof itself to give something to glue to so well, let's see how we get on shall we so here you can see the fruits of my labours this is the second roof section uh, we completed the first one a couple of nights ago um, although it only seems like a moment ago I was starting it due to clever video editing so um, you can see the, the new roof glazing there it's a bit mucky because I'm a bit ham-fisted with the glue. <coughs> Especially this big dollop here, but it's, I'm using uh, this stuff here, this looks materials glue and glaze. Um, I bought it ages ago to uh, reglaze a uh, Class 45, uh, an old mainline Class 45, because the original glazing was rubbish. And uh, it works quite well, it dries quite clear. So as you can see, it's, sorry, it dries quite clear. I could probably disguise that uh, with glazing bars and weathering at some point. Now, one thing to know here, the, this little micro strip along here, uh, it places as it bowed and buckled. So what I've done, I've just cut it with a pair of scissors and then stuck it back down with, uh, with rocket card glue and then held it in place with some crocodile clamps. And, um, yeah, it's, I'm trying um, as much as possible, apart from the glazing, to reuse the original materials that um, this roof has been built from. And uh, it's it's kind of working in places. Um, these are a bit of a task. I, uh, I glued this side on last night, um, but I glued it wrong, and it, it didn't meet up with the other side in the middle. It still doesn't so much. Um, we've literally just glued it back on, so it's still quite... Um, quite loose but uh, I also was uh, considering replacing the uh, recovering the roof with a fresh uh, set of tile paper uh, I had bought some um, scale scenes probably tile sheets but uh, in the interest of maintaining as much of the original structure as possible I have uh, I've left it um, and it looks quite good I mean the the, the the roof of the station buildings themselves are done in the same tiles, so um, I'll just leave it like that. If I replace the tiles on this, I've got to do the station roof as well, just to make it look the same. I didn't really want to do that, but I'm quite happy with the results. Yeah, I'm a bit sort of ham-fisted, like I say, with, with, the, with the glue, when it goes all over the shop. Um, this roof section I've had the most problem with, because the timber that's in here, the length of wood, is bowed, as you can see. There's quite a pronounced sort of sag in the middle. Now I tried straightening that out last night and it wasn't having it. I, mean, I got it wet, I tried warming it up, it, 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 it's twisted, it's warped. So we'll just leave as it is and uh, you know, you, yes you can tell if we just uh, go in here, but not so much. So uh, we might as well just leave it and uh, glue everything back in place. This needs gluing down again because this has come loose. and. Uh, that's okay, no, that's not set rock hard, that was. And, uh, and this glazing is set rock hard, I think that's not it. Um, little bit, I'm not sure as to what to do with the, the top of this uh, bit here, but I'm just going to leave that because obviously I've glued it down now, so anything I do to it is going to make it look worse. <coughs> Pardon me. The only uh, disadvantage I've had with using the clear glazing is you can see inside the roof. Now, once the glazing bars are on, you're still be able to see because it's only micro strip. But it may have the added bonus of shedding some light into the train shed. Now, uh, 
I did have a suggestion from one of my friends in the LNER modelers group to uh, to lightly weather the glass. Um, I don't know if I can bother with that. I may do it at some point. I may weather one side just to see what it looks like. But uh, I'm quite happy with that. So uh, tell me what you think in the comments, please. Any criticisms or suggestions are, are very welcome as always. So uh, there'll be another update video later as well, I'm sure. Um, I've got point running to add later, so we'll uh, we'll check that out in a bit. So bye for now.